How's it going guys, Nintendo Enthusiast here. Today I wanted to talk about Time Spinner for the Nintendo Switch. Now this is one of my favorite games of last year. I absolutely adored this game from the time bending mechanics to the combat. It's just a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's jump on into my Switch review. I'm not a very big fan of the Metroidvania genre. However, every now and then a game in the genre surprises me. Time Spinner is one of those games. The beautiful pixel art is what caught my eye, but the addictive extra exploration-based gameplay is what kept me coming back for more. First, the game is much more story-heavy than I was expecting, quickly thrusting the main protagonist, Lunaius, into a traumatizing event that would be the backbone of the main storyline. The writing is well done and I easily connected with Lunaius as she is just as clueless to everything as you are. As I mentioned before, Time Spinner uses beautiful pixel art, and it constantly had me impressed. With a variety of environments and enemy types, its dark and sad world really envelops you, which aligns perfectly with the game's story of heartbreak, revenge, and triumph. Time Spinner's combat is simple but effective. Lunaius, and I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that name right, can utilize a variety of different orbs and special attacks. You can mix and match your attacks anytime you want, from throwing a Kamehameha-like energy blast to smashing foes with a giant sword. You'll constantly feel like a badass. Combining different orbs and attacks is fun to tinker with, and you have three preset classes, making it easy to swap weapons during combat. There's also a cast of characters and side quests to take part in. This can lead to gaining special items or witnessing smaller story threads. I naturally completed some quests just by exploring the map. Speaking of exploring, exploration is one of Time Spinner's biggest strengths. Entering unknown areas unsure of what is ahead is always a blast. And any time I died in Time Spinner, I always felt compelled to try again. Pending you find a safe spot often, the difficulty isn't very hard, which I appreciated as I often find myself in over my head when jumping into Metroidvania games. In Time Spinner, learning the rhythm of enemies and bosses can be challenging, but once you wrap your head around things, it's really satisfying combat. Then there's the actual time-bending mechanic. This lets you freeze your surroundings for a limited time. Not only is this useful during fights, but you can actually use enemies as platforms when time is stopped. If there's a ledge that's out of reach, you can use a nearby enemy to gain access to it by freezing it. All of that stuff combined together gives you plenty of variety to fit your preferred playstyle. Time Spinner kept me wide awake in the late hours of the night. I simply couldn't put it down until I defeated the final boss. Luckily, there's tons of collectibles that give me a reason to jump back in, along with a new game plus mode. If you're a fan of Metroidvania games, Time Spinner is a must play.